We're down to three teams remaining in the Group 6 Rugby League first grade competition for 2017 as we see the Picton and Magpies and the Thilmy Roosters taking to the field for the first grade major semi-final of 2017. The teams are on the field. We've got no turnaround time because we ran late with the minor semi-final. Campbelltown City defeating Camden 24 points to 18. If you missed that one just a few moments ago, the Kangaroos have ended the reigning Premier's season at the second last hurdle. Now it's down to the big one, the major semi-final, one of these teams going straight through to the grand final in 13 days time. The loser will go through and meet Campbelltown City in the preliminary final next Sunday afternoon at, Victoria, at Dudley Chesham Oval at the Oaks. There's the whistle in the background, we're underway, no time for big pardons, here we go. And it's going to be kept in the field of play. No, it's going to go dead in goal off the ring, off the kick off. Dead in goal off the kick off. I'm Mike Sheen, great to have your company this afternoon on MacArthurSportsRadio.com, your home for rugby league in the MacArthur. Mark Dunny's alongside for the call. Dunny, this will be a lot of fun. Yeah, this will be a cracker just like the last one. Um, congratulations to uh, Campbelltown City Kangaroos uh, getting up in that last game. As we see a mistake from uh, Thilmy uh, from the kickoff. So uh, we see Eddie Payer drop it out uh, to the uh, Picton side. And uh, Picton make a mistake. So we've uh, both teams have made a mistake uh, both times they've touched the ball. So we'll have a scrum feed 10 metres out from the, the the Thirlmere line. We haven't even gone through the teams yet. That's how long we've had. Yeah, I heard a rumour the other week that uh, Coach Michael Bullock would be back for the uh, Picton Magpies. Yes, I did. The, uh, for the semi-finals, and he's actually on the bench. Yes, I did hear that during the week. So first scrum of the afternoon goes the way of the Thirlmere Roosters. Yes. Heard the call in the background from referee Matt Gavin. Oh, have our audio this afternoon, thankfully for the major semi-final. As we see the Roosters now be running off the program for the time being. Yeah, that team's pretty close to straight. 24-12, the uh, Mighty Sharks uh, up in Newcastle. Around the grounds from MacArthur Insulation. Oh, 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 Gracious me! Pop that, he said, and some. That was a bell ringer of a hit there. I think it was Alex Peters on Andy Fiergat. Who's a second minute of the major semi final? Penalty inside the 10. Yeah, they're outside there. The uh, kick the back, guys, but um, yeah, great start. Um, Alex Peters will be revved up too after his under 18s won this morning, and uh, they're, they're in the grand final. So. Kick finds the line, 43 metres out from the film line. That's probably the tackle of the year. That'll be a close there. second. Film 43 out from the... We've got time off, we need a ball. 2.24 gone in the first half. Now we're right to get underway. Here we go. Now Figatuzo lines up, says, give me another one, Skip. I'm Let me straight at him. I'm just going to have a, a chip at the, um, the rules here for a second. The uh, winger passed that ball into the hooker, and the winger was three metres in front of the guy tapping the ball. Now, that's happening far too often in the game, and the rule says that if uh, players offside from a restarter play, it's an um, unfeed to the non-attacking team. So they need to get on top of that, the boys. Eddie Payer to the left-hand side. That looks like Jordan Tongahai out the back. There's Blake Sutton, had three in nine minutes last Sunday in the qualifying final. He can't do it today. He's 15 metres out. Saleh dummy half. Goes right side for Mullaney. Mullaney, that's a great ball there, but the referee says offside. High tackle, in fact. High tackle the call. So two quick penalties going the way of Phil here this afternoon. Yeah, the boys are sorting each other out early here. As we see, there's the number nine, Dane Craig, taking it forward within three metres of the line. You can hear referee Navin in the background for MacArthur insulation. Mullaney at first receiver, takes on the line. Jake Mullaney nearly threw out the other side. 
Pulled down in a good tackle, six metres out. Payer, inside ball, Fiega, two's are lined up, and Billy Carroll said no. Yeah, that's no, true. you do not. Yeah, he's a marked man today. Eddie Payer, wide ball out there. Justin Smith for the line. Yeah. Two metres out when he'll play it. Looked like a pretty high tackle there too. From, Looked uh, very high. These are uh, the second rower in Tonga High fighting for every metre. That's the last. Arm goes up, two metres out. Saleh, Fred Flintstone kick, rebound, six more ball goes out the back, no advantage surely. First knock on from Picton, I think they've got that right. Ten out under the sticks, northern end. Pressure coming from the Roosters early. Yeah, good call there from uh, the referees, but uh, all this early ball's been for uh, the uh, filmy Roosters. What a massive crowd we've got here at Victoria Park this afternoon for the major semi-final. Yeah, it's pretty packed. There's uh, not, um, not too many spaces to spare, especially yeah, at the southern end. A lot, of, a lot of cars out on the road too. Jacob Loco. Yeah, this will right. test his left knee. Yeah, we test his ankle out too. Oh, there's a good run there from second best Ledbrook. Yeah, no, Within up. two metres of the line, there's a magpie down in back play. Time off. Number one Ledbrook here. So you change that to uh, number one. Is, uh, uh, you're still going to have to convince me that he's uh, he's uh, number one in the family. Uh, well, just a run like that, he's number one. Yeah, his, his sister goes all right just quietly. Yeah, I will say, yeah, Casey, uh, unlucky yesterday, and they got a beat there out. And uh, so talking to both Casey and uh, Jack after the game yesterday. And uh, they, they've agreed that Jack's number one now and Casey's number two. Oh, I think that's very harsh on Casey there, just quietly. So we're uh, 4.52 into the first half. No score is yet for John Stoddham and Co. Lawyers. The major semi-final of Group 6 Rugby League for 2017. What a start we've had here this afternoon at Victoria Park. Yeah, we started off with uh, two mistakes. One from uh, Felmy from the kickoff, and then from the restart, uh, Picton uh, dropped the ball on, and it's, all, it's been all Felmy since then. Um, but the Picton defence has hung on so far. They certainly have. Just a reminder that early score uh, for anyone that missed it. Camden City Kangaroos 24 uh, defeating Camden. The defending premiers are gone 18. They are out. There's the whistle in the background to get play underway. As we update the social media. There is our fifth man. Up to the goal line. Holes. Go early. That's three. There, yeah, Mullaney. Short ball. Looked there like uh, one of the. Uh, Oh. One of the Benel boys. Hey, a big ball out to Loco. Loco's uh, dropped that. So here's a chance for the bad guys. Yeah, I'm sure if that was a coldie, he wouldn't have dropped it. <laughs> Certainly not. 20 metres out. Happy Father's Day to all the dads here, and there's plenty here at Victoria Park this afternoon. A special shout out to my dad, Bob Sheen, up in Coffs Harbour. Hope you're enjoying the call today. 20 metres out, Picton on the attack. Timmy Dengate to feed this scrum. President and Chief Executive of the entire Private Eye Detective Agency. And you can hear the roosters, uh, in fact the uh, kangaroos down below us, celebrating their victory. The first penalty of the afternoon goes the way of the home side. We'll quickly rip through these teams. I don't think there's too many changes. For the Magpies, Lett, Everett, Orcher, McElvenny, Canham, Hoskins and Dengate, the halves, the forwards, Carroll, Provost, McGuinness, Blackshaw, Peters and Leet. For the Roosters, Mullaney, Smith, Loco, Narn, Reed, Sutton and Payer, the halves, Fiegatuza, Craig, Ledbrook, Saleh, Tonga High and Green, the forwards. As we get the Roosters in defence this time, 35 metres out from the line. They'll play it now, the Magpies. Lead out the back for Dengate. Dengate for Lead. Lead on for Sean Orcher on the right-hand side. Ducks under a couple. And eventually get through the line. 26 metres out from the line is where he'll play it. Eight in from touch, western side. Comes back towards the middle. There's Ryan Lead in the middle. He plays it now. 22 metres out. Provost out of dummy half. Finds Hoskins. Hoskins out the back for Lett, trying to step his way through the line. Keeps it alive, McElvenny, that ball looks suspicious. Referee says no, it was forward. Yeah, I didn't think uh, that was a forward pass. He flicked that out the back. I thought that was definitely forward. Yeah, well, uh, uh, good uh, trick trick pass anyway, out the back door by the old Benji Marshall. 
to uh, Pat Richards pass from the uh, grand final. Happy coach here in um, Liam Fulton. Fulton. Yeah, not showing it, but he would be delighted with yeah, that from his uh, side. I'd like to give him a call later on. Might see if we can get him up to chat after this game. As we see, Filmy hold on to possession. Riley Nunbred, 20 metres out from his own line. Second. Yeah, Centre field. Of, uh, known your business. Yeah. Nunbred Enterprises. He's his uh, centre partner, Jacob Loco. 28 metres out. Out of dummy half, Saleh finds Figatusa. That'll be a battle royale this afternoon. He'll play 11 short of halfway. Saleh for Paya. Rips it back across field. Taken by Eric Everett. Everett runs into the wall of Maroon and Gold. And there's three and four there to back slam him 10 short of halfway. They're all gesturing and pointing. Referee says he didn't lose the ball. Out of dummy half goes Sean Orcher. Three there to stop him. Three short of halfway. Ten in Western side. What an uptick no start we've had. Eight and a half minutes. No score. Major semi. This is for keeps, ladies and gentlemen. This is for us spotting the grand final in 13 days. Here's the Magpies now. Dingate. Carroll. Hoskins. Inside ball. Peters. Peters. 32 metres out centre field. Very dry and dusty here at Victoria Park this afternoon. Dingate showing, showing, showing. Not getting to the other side. Second place, Ledbrook plays it 20 metres out. Purvis juggles it. Hoskins kicks it high. Crossfield to the eastern side of the ground. Up they go. Taken easily by the Roosters. Play on the call in the field of play. They're out three, four, five metres from their own line. The Roosters. Good defence there from Picton holding on. Nine gone, no score. We need a breather. Dunny, help me out for MacArthur in Yeah, that's all right. uh, looks like uh, young Sutton there who uh, has a hit up. Um, the sailor gets into dummy half. He hits the ball up to his uh, smash board uh, Picton forwards. Uh, we see Mullaney in at um, half back and uh, Sutton uh, put his arms up there, thought he was Jesus. Uh, same thing that uh, Watsi Moses does for Parramatta. Uh, you're not going to get a penalty by chucking your arms in the air. Mullaney, 25, 30, 32 metres out from the line. In centre field, his own end of the ground on the last. Payer on the right, gets it away. Everett has to trot back, cover it. Inside his own quarter, Let leaves it for Everett. There's half a dozen Maroon and Gold shirts there to stop him. Yeah, and it's chase. up in yeah, there. Good defence from the Roosters. Mullaney leading from the front. Yeah, great chase by the Roosters. As we see, that's the other winner in uh, Alex Adam. 15 short of halfway. Good tackle for Gattuza down low. Narnbred over the top. There's a good run out. I think that was Hoskins. Seven short of halfway. Let out a dummy half. McIlvenny in the tomato sauce headgear. Good run from McIlvenny. Eight inside for me territory. This is a high quality major semi final. We've only had 10 and a half minutes in the first half. As we see, Picton 26 metres out from the filmy line on the last. Hoskins sent it high. Over the crossbar at the southern end, taken easily. Yeah, Mullaney copped a check on his way through. Uh, that's something he's just seen. He's a lot quicker than um, A lot quicker than Mullaney, if that's possible. No quick play the ball. We're going to take it back and go again. We'll take it back and go again. Saleh gives it off to second best Leadbrook. Takes it up. Gets up ended. He's lifted over the horizontal. Mullaney appealing for a penalty. Referee says no. Thought he might have had a case there. Figatuza. I'll tell you what, Picton's uh, looking for Figatuza in the room here this afternoon. They've, uh, every time he's got the ball, they've been up on him. It looks like Mullaney taking it forward. Working hard. The captain coach, 31 metres out. In fact, that wasn't, uh, that wasn't the captain coach as we see. I think that's uh, Jacob Loco playing it now. Out of dummy half, Deddy Saleh pinching some ground. Little show and go from the veteran number 11. Pops the ball away. Brilliant ball to Blake Sutton. Slips over at the key moment. No excuse there. Ground is rock hard this afternoon. 15 out. Saleh. Payer. Payer. Tonga high. Reed in the corner. Smith can't hold it. Smith can't hold it. It's going to be back to the 20 for 7 tackles. Picton holding on by a fingernail. 12 gone. First half, no score. Yeah, good play there from uh, the Roosters. Um, big run up the middle by uh, Nevi Saylor. Um, not sure. I was told that uh, Jacob Loco wasn't going to play this game, and um, 
he's most he's definitely hard. out there. Yeah, he is definitely out there, but the way his hands have been so far in this game... He'd be better um, off sitting on the sideline. probably line. be better off sitting off the sideline. As we look down at the benches, Michael Bullock, captain coach, wearing the 15 for Picton this afternoon. Nathan Sutton, the assistant to Jake Mullaney, seated on the bench for the Roosters. Picked 25 out from their own line, big Billy Carroll. It'll be his first or second run of the afternoon in the opening 13 minutes. 15 short of halfway, quick play the ball, promised out of dummy half. Goes for a scoot, gets up in it in a good one-on-one -on -one tackle. That was a beauty. He goes Neddy Saleh on his opposite number. Back to the right-hand side. He's uh, Blackshaw pops it around the corner for Timmy Dingate. In time, over the 30, gets it away to Michael Lett. Can he get through the line? No. Great cover defence, Sutton around the legs. One over the top, appealing for a penalty, not getting it. Yes, they do get it in the end. Not rolling away. Not rolling away the penalty for the Magpies. So it's 3-2 the count in favour of... In fact, I've got to get uh, two all the counts. Yeah, inch, inch high about to restart here. 22 metres out, up the middle, Ryan Leach. Good run, 12 metres out from the line. What can they produce here? The Magpies, he's lost it in the tackle. Lost it in the tackle, they can't produce anything. Yeah, referee Navin right on the spot there. Uh, great position uh, for the referee. As uh, we see a um, couple of the boys from uh, Picton sort of warming up. Keep talking about this crowd. It is absolutely massive here at Victoria Park today. They're lined around the fence on all four sides of Victoria Park. And there's probably more here today than what there was uh, last night at uh, Midigong. I would say definitely, but uh, that Midigong sports ground layout is very deceptive. We see a lot at the southern end down there here. They're right around the field. The second best playbook playing at 25 out from his own line. Goes to the right-hand side. I think that's Tom DeHigh taking it forward. 31 metres out. He plays it now. They go back to the middle of the ground. Figatuza winds up. And he pop it out the back. Not quite this time. 11 short of halfway. Plays it now. Saleh directing traffic like a cop on Pitt Street. Makes 15, 17 metres. Good run there from the number 11. Yeah, Sutton on the last. Payer. Mullaney. Kicks high. Cross field. Does Kenham know anything about that? Not really, but he did enough to hold on to it. And he's moved down 28 metres out from the line. Yeah, tackled there by Narnia Business. McIlvenny out of dummy half. The tomato sauce goes for a scoot. Makes four, five metres. There's three roosters there to stop him. This has been all action opening 15 minutes. Another 25 to go in the first half. Alex Peters up the middle to the 40. Run around the legs, two up high. Good tackle there from the roosters. Big twos are down low as they work back to the middle of the ground. This is really Let good, go, solid go football from go both go sides go here. Go. Neither side giving an inch, you can hear the breeze picking up. Peters tucks it under the left, runs into three, dropped in a good hard tackle. Eight metres inside, the Thelmy half on the last. Hoskins sends it high. Sutton takes it safely. Chasing through with Led. I thought there might have been a leg out in front from Sutton. It looked all right from here. As You've got to protect see, yourself somehow, right? I agree with that, but it did look a little dangerous. And we've got a replacement coming on in Jersey 20 for the Mag, but for the Roosters. Ball out the back, play on the call. There's Eddie Payer with it, nine short of halfway. Tackle three, the call. Looking for a play the ball, there's that dairy call. The Chinese farmer milking. As we see the Roosters, five, six metres inside Picton Territory. That's tackle four. Saleh goes himself this time. To the right hand side, turned inside by Mullaney for Dane Craig. 12 metres inside, picked in territory. That's the last. Arm goes up from referee Navin. Comes back for the kick now from Payer. Sends it high into the air. Michael Lett camping under it. Contested by Blake Sutton. Did well to take that. Michael Lett finds a little bit of open space. Here comes trouble. Eddie Payer says, No, you don't, son. Stops in 14 short of halfway. The Magpies are up this afternoon. No score is yet. We've had 17 minutes of all action in the first half. Billy Carroll to halfway. Michael Bullock about to go on for the Magpies. The captain coach on in Jersey 15. I haven't seen Robbie Payne. He's on in Jersey 10 down on the bench. 
Backway, backway. Cries now. Inside Picton territory, the crowd yeah, bangs a penalty. Felmere yeah. have it. Felmere have it. To the left hand side they come. That looks like Jack Green, it might be. Good Good shot of see. halfway. Good to see uh, Captain Coates Michael Bullock back out on the field. Been great to see him back on the park. Tonga High runs into inch high over the top with Sean Orcher and one other. He's five inside inside Picton territory. Jacob Loco testing that knee and that ankle. Gets it away to Jordy Reed. In fact, it's Justin Smith down the Western Touch line. As the ball stripped, we'll see two in the tackle. Referee's going to say knock on Felmy. Nitty Saleh can't believe it. 10 out, 20 in, scrum feet Picton. We've had 18 minutes all action. Rugby League major semi-final. Yeah, miraculous ball that uh, Loco got away there. Uh, right in front of us. Um, but yeah, good, uh, great defence here from uh, Picton. As we see, 18 minutes gone on the clock. Everybody needs a breather here at Victoria Park this afternoon. It's been all action rugby league in the opening period of play in the major semi final. The Roosters and the Magpies for a spot in the grand final 13 days from now. Campbelltown Stadium, 7 pm, Saturday the 16th. We'll all have a breather two weeks today. Thank goodness for that, he says. Yeah, it's high quality uh, rugby league here today, Mike. We're almost at the 20-minute mark, and we've still got nil all. So, yep. And there's uh, only been four penalties in the opening 20 minutes. The referee allowing the game to flow. McIlvenny out of dummy half. The source to 30 metres out from his own line. 20 in western side, eastern side. Yeah, John Kite's been heavily involved since he's been out on the field for the uh, Thurmy Roosters. So Kite's on the field for the Roosters. That's him in jersey 20. As yeah, we I, see, think, uh, I think he went on for a number two. A rare whistle. Three to the count from the Carter insulation, the penalty count. Yeah, Kite went on for uh, number two, Ledbrook. So. Uh, for second best, Ledbrook. And his big Sione Kite in the middle. Victoria Park, kick finds the line, 42 metres out, eastern side. Provost taps, gives it off to Peters, up the middle, good run, Alex Peters, right to the 30, he plays it in centre field. There's that Chinese dairy farmer again, Mil yeah, King. Mil King, he's uh, been pretty active today, Mil Bullock King. Bullock to the 20, plays it now. Slow play the ball, sloppy play the ball. Hoskins, Dengate. Carroll out the back for Lent. Butcher on his outside doesn't go there. Probably had the man there to go to. 12 metres out from the line. Orcher, high ball for inch high Dengate. Back on the inside, Blackshaw. Blackshaw trying to break the line within four metres of the try line now at the southern end. The Magpies haven't found their voice just yet this afternoon. Crash ball there. That was a good tackle. Short of the line, Michael Bullock couldn't make it. He lost the ball, In fact, he's lost it over. He's lost it short of the line. So back to the team. So 19 and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Still no score on the board for John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers. What a major semi-final we've got here this afternoon. There, yeah, round the grounds for um, MacArthur Insulation. It's Cronulla uh, 26, Newcastle 18, with uh, 12 minutes remaining out there in uh, Newcastle. Surely, surely the Sharks can't lose to uh, the Knights. Well, for, as a Tigers fan, I'm hoping they don't. Hoping the Sharks get the win, that meaning the Knights will finish at the bottom of the ladder. The Tigers can't finish there even if they lose tonight. Scrum win for the Roosters. Yeah, Sutton uh, giving the offload there from Loco. Loco uh, back out of dummy half. That's a good hit up. That'll, that'll test his uh, knee and his ankle. Loco, 15 short of halfway to the right-hand side. Fergatuza takes on Bullock and two others. Won't get through the line there. He's 13 short of halfway. Saleh out of dummy half. Payer turns it back on the inside. Mullaney won't get through there. There's four and five black shirts there. The black shirts are coming. And Eddie Saleh showing it. Who's he going to give it to? Nobody. He'll tuck it under the right chicken wing and take the tackle. Five inside for me. Territory on the last. Eddie Payer kicks downfield. Not a bad looking kick. Michael Lett drops back to cover it. Inside his own in goal. Wheels around, breaks through the opening line, but they've stopped him enough. Pulled down 13 minutes out from his own line. 18 minutes left, still no score on the board for John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers. Yeah, some of these Billy players. Carroll's off for the bad pies. Some of these players starting to feel it out here um, with his heat uh, and the fact that uh, 
We haven't had a scrum or a break for a little while, so um, these players will be uh, feeling it. And uh, I see Adam Campbell's on for uh, the 30 uh, Roosters. And Billy Carroll's come off for the Magpies as well, the big front roller. You know, the change after the scrum with uh, Geordie Reid coming on in Jersey 5. So an error there from Picton, 30 metres out from their own line. Committed a few of those this afternoon. It's been, uh, That's actually uh, Luke Benelli in five. That's Luke Benelli, is it? Okay. So they've uh, yeah, played some funny, funny things Jesus. with the uh, well, I'm jerseys. working off the original program, so I haven't yeah, seen well, the updated version. Yeah, well, I know uh, young Luke, so, and that's definitely him in the number five. Okay. Go the scrum fit and one Dane Craig out of the back of the scrum within 25 metres of the line goes to the right hand side once again through the hands. He's the centre in Riley Nan Red. Can't get through the line this time. They'll come back to the right hand side. They'll come back to the open side left. Mullaney at first receiver. It's big John Kite up the middle. Good run from him. Plays it 12 metres out from the line. Great run there from the uh, front roller. As we see the, uh, see the Magpies having to defend there. If the Magpies got in their trick bag for now. Holding on only a metre out from the line. Comes back to the left-hand side on the last. Mullaney looking for an option. Goes back to the left-hand side. Heavy hit there on Rick Sutton. Wow, that was a beauty turnover. I think it was Alex Peters once again. 13 metres out from his own line. Laid Blake Sutton fair and square into the Victoria Park turf, and he'll be he'll be pulling that out of his teeth for three days. That was a beauty from Alex Peters. Not quite as good as uh, Papali on Miles, but that's up there in the final. The Roosters now defending 20 metres out from the Picton line. 15:40 remaining in the first half. Hope you're enjoying the call on MSR. Forward pass. It's gone forward, and a penalty. Yeah, Robbie Payne uh, had that hit up the, from the full pass and then threw the ball 40 metres upfield. If I was referee uh, Navin, I'd make him go and get it. Penalty count three all for the car for insulation. Time off. 15-18 remaining in the first half. What a game we've had this afternoon. There's been nothing in this one. It has been a beauty this afternoon. We've still got 55 minutes of rugby league to go as a bare minimum this afternoon. Now we're right to get back underway. There's Kite from the restart towards the 10. He's a metre or two short of that mark. He'll play it now to the left-hand side. Payer out the back for Sutton. Sutton, Sutton, still going Blake Sutton. Two metres from the line, gonna be wrestled to ground. Half a metre out. Payer dummy half. Which way is he gonna go? Goes right. Out the back, Mullaney, Mullaney, Jake Mullaney, got there! Brilliant play from the captain, Pooch! The Roosters open the account with 14.45 to go. 4-0 kick to come for John Stoneham and co lawyers outstanding rugby league. Yeah, just watching the back play there, um, uh, young Sutton got a bit late, and uh, he was just receiving some treatment uh, from the... Uh, from the that was a beautiful piece of play there from Jake Mullaney doing it all himself. And the opening try goes the way of the visitors in the maroon and gold. Just down the uh, film away, they'll be cheering this afternoon. The Magpies trail 4-0 for John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers with a kick to come from beside the uprights. Eddie Payer should make this 6-0 in favour of the Filmy Roosters. We see this conversion attempt 10 metres out in line with the right hand uprights. Make it 6 0. Phil Mew over Picton. Maybe not hearing things. Could be upsets on the cards. Campbelltown City have knocked out Cand and no, it's not an error. 24 18, the final score there. I'm just looking down at the uh, Phil Mew bench, I can tell you what, Nathan Sutton looks really fit. <laughs> if only you meant that. 13 minutes to half time. Eddie Payer adds the extras from in front. It's six points to nil. Filmy 
Leeds picked it on the John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers yeah, him scoreboard. And, him and David Green, they both look uh, fit as they could both uh, still oh, play. <laughs> Maybe in the Masters competition, I'm not sure. As we see, picked it back on halfway. Down by six, 13 minutes to the break. What a start we've had to this major semi-final. It's been major level, major standard rugby league. It looks like uh, Shannon thought about to go on in Jersey 20 for the Magpies. Loosening up as we see Thormy bringing it out of their own end. 15 metres out from their own line. They'll go to the right hand side now, Tonga High. In fact, that's Kite. Back slammed, a heavy two man tackle. Over the top is the 15 there in Bullock. Now. Filmy, 29 metres out from their own line. Third tackle after the restart. Yeah, that was Luke Fennell that had that hit up. And now. And you'll see uh, Campbell's gone to uh, Hooper and Settler's got to back, uh, back to the back row. He's Tonga High once again. Can pop it out the back? He had support players there, but he can't get it free. Calling for a penalty, the Roosters. That's a flat ball playing on. As we see Eddie Payer on the last, running it down the right-hand side. Mullaney has support. Dane Craig, they won't catch him from there. Dane Craig scores two in a row for the Roosters. Two in quick succession. A yeah, woeful pass from uh, dummy half for Adam Campbell. Uh, and in the end, it worked uh, good for the Roosters. Uh, they just got the ball. They had the uh, numbers out on that uh, right-hand side. Um, and too easy. They had plenty of pace there too. Uh, Mullaney was there. The Roosters certainly making a statement here. You can hear the crowd silenced at Victoria Park. Filmy 10, Campbelltown uh, picked a nil. So it's 10 nil to the Roosters with a kick to come from wide on the right hand side. And we've got 11 minutes remaining in the first half. This has been a, a, a sensational period of play over three or four minutes. Eddie Payer to try and make it a dozen in favour of the Roosters, 11 before the break. There we had uh, no score for the first 25 minutes and then the Roosters have scored two uh, in the last five. Um, bang and bang it's been. Yeah, and, uh, we'll just go around the grounds quickly for MacArthur Insulations with four minutes to go in Newcastle. The uh, Mighty Sharks are 26 and the Knights 18. It's good news if you're a Tigers fan, meaning they can't finish bottom. Uh, it's good news if you're a Sark supporter. It means they'll be going to the semi-finals with a win. In the big game at 4 o'clock, Dragons and Bulldogs from Homebush. And the Dragons need a win to pick their finals berth. Is there actually going to be anybody there to watch that game? Well, it'll be hard to tell because they're all here at Victoria Park this afternoon. Eddie Payer from the touchline. No, across the face of goal. He misses. So the score remains 10 points to nil for John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers. 10 minutes remaining in the first half here at Victoria Park this afternoon. The major semi final. The winner goes through to the grand final. The loser meets Campbelltown City next Sunday in the. Preliminary final of Group 6 Rugby League for 2017. Yeah, Shannon Thorne on for the uh, Magpies in number 20. That's Thorne on in uh, 20. I had him. He does. Uh, Jersey and knock on from the restart. Yeah. Lake Sutton's put it down in goal. So a line this drop out. The, uh, this could be the break that uh, the Magpies need here. Might yeah. drop out from under the posts yeah. at the southern end, 9.15 very, to go. Very unusual there from uh, Blake Sutton. Uh, very rare mistake. He's uh, normally pretty good under the uh, high ball. Yes, he's very disappointed with that error. Nine minutes to half time. It's 10 nil in favour of the Roosters. Hope you're enjoying the call on MacArthur Sports Radio.com. Group 6 League Live. Your home for rugby league in the MacArthur. Drop out goes 30 metres and it's put down by Bryce Hoskins. Play on the call, the Roosters survive. They don't even have to make one tackle. Heavy tackle there, Hoskins over the top. Referee says it's all good. A little bit of extras from Michael Bullock there. Hoskins trying to make up for his error there. Three, yeah, Campbell, four, black and white Campbell hits. wasn't happy with something that happened in that last tackle. There's the uh, number five, Luke Bonnell. Luke Bonnell plays a 10, nine metres short of halfway. Out of dummy half. 
heavy contact there. I think that was Dane Craig on the receiving end. Adam yeah, Alex, Alex Peters, Peters there, yeah. there in with uh, Shannon Thorne and yeah, trying to pull Anthony off, Provost. Trying to pull off three big hits in this uh, first half. On the back Tight. of his uh, under-18s uh, making the grand final this morning. Tight up the middle to within a metre of halfway. Plays it now. Left-hand side, Mullaney, Mullaney nearly through the line. Okay, 10 metres inside. Picton territory on the last. Cannon cleans up that kick. Wheels around the centre field. And break the line this time, 25, 26 metres out from his own line in centre field. Back to the left-hand side, that looks like Orcher. Sorted out there. Yeah, it sounded like running water in my ear yes, there. I'm, I'm not, not sure, sure what that was coming from. It's a bit, bit near that. Ah, there it is. Uh, it is running water. It is running water. Our offender down on the... Uh, I just that back a little bit. Yeah, it makes me want to go to the toilet. Yes, so don't want to have that occur. As we see not in this uh, hot pink mankini. Second best, Ledbrook about to go back on Payne. Plays it wide for Timmy Dengate in tight private eye, nearly through the line, 32 metres out from the line. Down to seven minutes remaining in the first half. 10 mil Roosters lead. Hoskins chips over the top. The ball will sit up eventually for, uh, I think that's Blake Sutton at the back. We see Magpies now having to defend. He's one of the biggest wing wingers in the world, Jordy Reid. He's a big unit. Second best goes on. Kite comes off for the Roosters. Another interchange for the Magpies. Opponents in full. Comes back to the left-hand side. There's half a gap. Nedi Saleh can't break the line. 27 metres out from the line. At his own end of the ground, appealing for a penalty. Yeah, I thought they were all on the Titanic there. Arms up. Tonga High to the 40. Gets it away. Jacob Loco wrestles Sean Orcher. Pops it out the back. Play on the call. Good defence there from the Roosters. As we see the forwards taking it up. Yeah, six minutes to go. That's uh, the six minutes, uh, Adam Campbell. Uh, yeah, penalty. penalty to the, the Roosters. Yeah, not sure what uh, that penalty was for. I think he had to put the rubbish out. And yeah, I think that was um, the old Chinese. Kicks once the line, 30 metres out from the line. Filmier on the attack. Tonga High inside the quarter now by two, three, four metres. Good run, Jordan Tonga High. 15 metres out from the line, 5.25 to go in the first. They're out by 10, the Roosters. Payer, can he spot a gap nearly through the line? Within nine metres of the line. Campbell in the dummy half. He'll play it now. Yeah, five minutes He's to go in this first half. Long ball out wide on the right-hand side. That's Riley Narnbred with it. 11 metres out from the line when he'll play it. Yeah, I don't think he's got enough of the ball, none of your business. Full-time in uh, Newcastle for MacArthur Insulations. He mighty sharks 26, the Knights 18. Good news if you're a Tigers fan, they can't finish bottom of the ladder in 2017. Mullaney at first receiver. Little dabble do you into the end goal. Did he force it? I think he did. No. No, he's left it on him trying to force it. No try. Back to the 20. Yeah, referee uh, Navin right on the right spot. Right on the spot. Yeah, saying uh, he knocked that on before the line. So before the line. Yeah. But that was after the line. Yeah, so Picton, Picton still on this uh, game. 10 mil. Uh, Phil Me Roosters over the Picton Magpies. And in the early result, uh, Hamilton City Kangaroos 24 defeated Camden 18. The defending premiers. Uh, packed up for uh, 2017, Mike. Yes, that's a turn up for the books. I think most people expected Camden to get the points this afternoon, but Campbelltown City, Liam Fulton has his team one game away from a grand final. Well, wouldn't that be a turn up for the books if the Kangaroos made it to the big dance in 13 days? Yeah, I'd uh, lock the elevator. I wouldn't let uh, oh. Alex Melville anywhere near me. Oh, can you uh, imagine it? If uh, the Kangaroos make the grand final, no offence to you, Alex. But, uh, Melville, Noonan, Brown, Stodham. Yeah, we'll just lock, oh. the, lock the gate uh, to upstairs. Lock, lock, lock the, the gates. Lift. Yeah. Don't let them within 40 foot of the stadium. No, turn my phone off as well. Yes. And I'll shut down Facebook as well. Yeah, that Penalty ball picked down it. there by uh, Tomahai. That's uh, pretty silly. Right in front of the touchdowns. 
And as he counts, he's four all for MacArthur insulation. Second best having an issue with his right boot. Still don't think he's resolved it. As the kick finds the line, 40 metres out. On the western side of the ground, shadows lengthening, three minutes remaining. In the first half, Provost, Dengate, Payne up the middle. The only way he knows how. Held 33 metres out from the line, the veteran. Provost for Thorne, up the middle, good run. Shannon Thorne, 21 metres out from the line. Provost finds Payne, flat ball there for Bullock. Bullock inside the 10 now, nine metres out from the line. On the left hand side of Victoria Park, another penalty. Not rolling away fast enough was the ruling there from referee Navin. 5 4 the count. And held up, taking the quick tap back to the 10. So it's been a, a frantic first half. Michael Bullock trying to milk a penalty. And we've got time off. 215, 214 remaining in the first half. Let's listen in for MacArthur Insulation. No, no caution given. So two minutes remaining, the two minute warning about to sound. As we see uh, Blackshaw taking it forward for the Magpies within three metres of the line. Great defence from the Roosters so far this afternoon. Hoskins to the left hand side. Peters back to Hoskins. Floating right. Where's he going to go? To the middle. Dengate for Lett. Lett on the right hand side. Orcher. Orcher for the line. Back on the inside for Lett. Back to Dengate. Still with it. Picked in. Still no tackle mate. Blackshaw stopped. 12 metres out from the line. 143 to the break. Yeah, they need to uh, score uh, Picton. Um, see if they can get one before half time. Magpies holding on here. Nine metres out from the line. 90 seconds to half time. Another penalty. And a little bit of afters here. Yeah, very vocal here at Victoria Park this afternoon. Time, seconds. Off. time off. Time off for uh... 68 seconds remaining. I just think a general warning there for yeah. uh, both I think teams. I heard penalties inside uh, penalties inside the quarter, inside the back end of the half as we see Picton on the attack. Can they yeah, put points on before uh, half time? Only one minute to go, so. Out of dummy half. Referee over the right, three metres out from the line. Bullock. It's a not the best pass for Dengate to receive from Hoskins. Make sure out the back for Lett. Led for Orchard for the line, did he get it down? Orchard gets it down inside the final 60 seconds. Yeah, I'm a genius, I said they had the score and they uh, did. So that's uh, the second time I've done that today. 10 so, points yeah. to fall the score line, 30 seconds to half time. Yeah, good try to uh, the Magpies, they needed that to get uh, back into the game. Scoreboard now reads 10 points to fall on the stroke of half time. Only seconds remaining before the, uh, before the half time break. The conversion uh, attempt from wide on the right hand side. Not far away from the kickoff at Homebush. Sirens about to sound. For half time. After this kick, Anthony Provost on the, so the touchline. Getting through. Yeah. Yeah, he'll be right up on the top line for this conversion. 
conversion attempt. That will tell the story if he kicks it. After the half-time siren. In favour of the picked and bag by his opponents in the field here. The promised 24 metres out. A metre in. On this western side of the ground. He's <laughs> into it now. Sends it high. That's away to the right hand side. That's not coming. <laughs> There's the siren in the background for half time. And at the break, it's Filmy 10, Kent Picton 4 in the major semi final on Group 6 League Live. We'll take a break here at Victoria Park when we come back. The second half of this major semi final. The Roosters out by 6 here on Group 6 League Live. Stay with us. We've had still no sign of the Magpies making yeah, their awesome, way back onto the field. Awesome crowd here at uh, Victoria oh, Park. I, yeah. I, I, I know we've talked about it half a dozen times, but how good is this crowd? Yeah, it's uh, pretty good as long as this uh, weather it did look like uh, the rain was uh, coming, but uh, it's all sort of blown it, away. Uh, yeah, stayed away. Uh, just looking to the south there, all in clouds are gone now. So the Magpies. Making their way back onto the field for the second 40 minutes. They trail 10 points to four, Big Buddy, with 40 minutes remaining in the major semi final of 2017. Somebody will go through to the grand final. And one team will meet Campbelltown City next week in the preliminary final, Sunday, 3 o'clock. That's Dudley Chesham Oval will be at DCO for all the action next week. They say it's the best weekend of football, the best day of football, preliminary final day. It's all on the line for everybody. They don't leave it behind. That whistle says, let's get underway. The final 40 minutes of the afternoon here on Group 6 League Live. As we see the Magpies defending the southern end of Victoria Park. You hear the calls in the background from referee Matt Navin for MacArthur Insulation. Roosters, the, right. see the Roosters, 30 metres out from their own line, Robbie Payne plays it. it looks like Alex Peters taking it forward. A hard working back rower gets dumped. 15 short of halfway, 10 in from touch, western side of the ground. Yeah, we haven't seen uh, James Porter uh, on no. the field for the uh, Magpies yet. As we go into this second half, we uh, did have a cracking game earlier this morning. Uh, in the under 18. So. He was outstanding in that game, getting them yeah. over the line. Yeah, as they uh, put up over short and picked them first team through in the 18th. Yes. Anthony Provost kicks out of dummy half. Downfield, that'll be a good kick, but too deep. That'll go back to the 24 7 tackle set. Yeah, and it's on second half, no change. Yeah, that goes back to what I was saying at, um, just uh, before we came back at the second half that uh, picked them each and cut down on their errors. Um, they didn't drop that ball in that uh, set, but um, they kicked it dead and give him a seven tackle set. And uh, we see on the first tackle, uh, Ledbrook's going to play this on the 40 metre line. Second best, 38 metres out from the line. They come back to the right hand side, Payer kicks early inside the 40. And if that sits up, that will find the line, and that is a 40 20 for the Roosters. They have come out with intent in the second half. They kick early, they kick off, and they kick long, and they kick successfully. So the kick will, the tap will be taken 10 metres out from the Thilmy lot, from the Picton line. What a start to the second half for the Roosters. Yeah, that's a great kick. Mullaney for Saleh. Saleh up the middle, good run, within two metres of the line at the second end, the southern end. He'll play it now. To the left-hand side, Payer stepping, stepping, stepping. That's come off a Picton player. That'll be play on if that's forced. It's a try. I think that's a try, and that's a try to the number five, Luke Bottle. It is a try. I think it's Luke Bottle who got there. There yeah, was uh, Luke Bonnell. Um, great try. Uh, just play to the whistle. That was clearly played at by a Picton player. The call was loud and clear from referee Navin. We could all hear it. And now the Roosters out by 10 points, early stages, second half, only two and a half minutes gone so far this afternoon in this second period 
And the Magpies don't really know what's hit them in the second half. A good start to that set. Kick just a fraction too long. But the restart has gone all the way of the Roosters. And they have gone the distance. They started from their quarter. They have gone the distance to make it a 10-point margin. It's about to be 12, you'd expect, with Eddie Payer to add the extras from beside the uprights. What an afternoon we've had here at Victoria Park. They could silence this massive crowd here for the major semi-final of Group 6 Rugby League in 2017. Picton. Don't know what's hit them this afternoon. Maroon and Gold Army. What a start we had the opening 25 minutes. No points, but the best quality rugby league you'll see in a long time. Payer adds the extras. We're 16-4. 36 and a quarter minutes remaining in the major semi-fire. Major semi-final even. This is a, a shell shocks crowd here at Victoria Park this afternoon. Four minutes gone in the second half. They're still scratching their heads after returning from the, uh, the facilities at half time. Yeah, there's uh, probably more people here than there'll be at um, ANZ Stadium. For, well, I'm uh, just having a look at my monitor Bulldogs here. And Dragons. Dragons. Now, I think the equation's simple for St George. They have to win today. Yeah, they have to win to make the finals. And um, the, the Bulldogs, uh, they'll want to win to give uh, the grub. Uh, Reynolds uh, a winning send off as he goes to the uh, Tigers for next season. Yes, what an addition. He'll be in the black, gold, and white. As we focus on the Maroon and Gold this afternoon up against the black and whites. Thormy 40 metres out from their own line. First set after the restart of play. Looked like a pass out the back, but the referee said he still held on to it. Five short play. Now to the left hand side. The second best lead book. Halfway right in the middle of Victoria Park. There's that Chinese dairy farmer again. You heard it in the background. He's been around all day, that he's, Milking. He's been very busy today, Milking. I haven't heard that, uh, that, that fisherman either, uh, King Mighty. Heavy defence here from the Magpies. In the field of play, Thilmy just not able to force Picton back into the in-goal. Tomato Sauce McIlvenny within two metres of his own line. He's lost it. He's lost it. Here's a chance for the Roosters once again. Yeah, good tackle by Mulaney there, forcing the ball, uh, forcing the ball loose. That's uh, that's probably his experience uh, when he played with uh, Parramatta uh, Mulaney. Yes, yeah, um, plenty of experience Come up with there. a great tackle there. Um, I did see that his uh, record of points uh, got beat uh, by uh, young, uh, young Flanagan for the Sharks. So. He, Mulaney's 315 points that he scored in uh, one season in, wow. in, in NYC. Good had, grief. Got uh, beaten by uh, young Kyle Flanagan for the Sharks. And that's the coach, of, uh, the son of um, Shane Flanagan, the coach. Yeah, and he's uh, rightfully there in his own right too. Yes, well, uh, well by the sounds of that, 315 points plus, you want to be there on your own rights. Yeah, I'll, I'll double check, but I think he's up to about 330, 340 for the season. Mulaney for Craig, crash ball there. Three metres out from the line. Red like tomorrow's front page of the paper. Out of dummy half, Bonnell. Mullaney, 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 still going, Jake Mullaney. No, he won't get through the line this time. Pushed back four metres from the line. Heard the call of roll away. That's uh, Adam Campbell in at dummy half. Left-hand side, Payer. Payer pops it out the back. It's been knocked on by Picton, though. And we're going to have a first from Thilmy. So I thought it might have been first from Picton. First from Thilmy, so... Scrum feed to the Magpies. They get led off the hook. Seven gone second half. It's 16-4. The Roosters lead it for John Stoneham and co-lawyers. Yeah, I thought uh, there was a Picton hand there first. I thought that should have been a knock-on uh, against Picton. And this uh, should have been a Thilmy feed. Uh, some of the Thilmy players, uh, they agree with me, but uh, Picton had the scrum feed and they're uh, bringing it out of their own uh, 15 metres. That's where they are on the field. 15 out, working right to left in the second half. McIlvenny with that distinctive tomato sauce hit gear. 23 metres out from his own line. He'll play it now. Back to the right-hand side. Alex Peters rolls up the sleeves yet again. Good run from him, 31 metres out. Provost went to go to a runner, didn't have one there. It was Bullock. 
Now he eventually gets it out through the hands to Sean Orcher. The lone try scorer for the Roosters opponents in Picton. Nine short of halfway. There's uh, Thorne giving it off. Michael Bullock, first game back in a number of months. Will play it. Seven inside for the territory on the last. It's a kick over the top from uh, Bryce Hoskin. That's going to be taken in the field of play by, by Blake Sutton. A metre out right in that corner there. Looking for a play of the ball, that Chinese dairy farmer out again. There's a good run there from the, uh, the dummy half for the... Yeah, that's uh, the biggest winger in the world there, Geordie Reed. Geordie Reed's on 15, is he? Yeah, he's uh, he, he started the game. He's been out there the whole time. Yeah, he's, he's on him. Jeez, 15. Yeah, he's got 15. He and um, Luke Bunnell, they sort of swapped jerseys yeah, uh, before the game. So. We haven't seen uh, Jay Bunnell this afternoon. For the, uh, for the Roosters. And Campbell down on the touchline. You can see Nathan Sutton, the assistant coach, directing traffic. He looks good, doesn't he? Oh, yes. He'll tell you that as well. As we see Payer kicking downfield. That's a high, deep kick. And uh, Eric Everett does well to take yeah, that. Yeah, we'll take a 25 out, makes 10 metres. Close tackle. Referee says too high. Referee says too high. Penalty to the Magpies. Yeah, straight up um, after he's got the penalty. So we, we've seen some good acting here today. A couple of uh, TV Week gold logies. Seven for the count for MacArthur Insulation. The penalty count so far this afternoon. And a kick for touch from Anthony Provost. Sends it into the eastern side of the field. 40 metres out from the line. They're underway at Homebush, two and a half minutes gone, no score is yet. Dragons and Dogs, second last game of 2017 in the NRL. There's a good run from Blackshaw. I'll tell you what I haven't heard for a long time from the crowd. Get them on side. Get them on side. Uh, that, that, one, that one with the... Uh, the uh, yes, I won't run that many. Yeah, I'll tell side. you what, if I get a dollar for every time I've heard, get them on get side. Get them on side. Or, or they're off side. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't be sitting here. I'll give you the tip. Yeah, I'll tell you that much for nothing. As we see... I'd be sitting on the uh, French coast sipping a, uh, 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 a nice uh, cappuccino. Yes. A nice Let's bottle of Chardonnay. Go. Ten metres out from the line. Is that another French word? <laughs> Chardonnay? That is a French word. Well done. Michael Lett. Oh, Michael Venny. Tries to beat his opponent. Can't get through the line. Seven metres out from the line. He'll play it on the last. Comes back. Bad pass to Hoskins. Does well to field it. Taken nicely there by Tonga High in the centres. Three metres. In fact, he's made about six or seven metres from his own line. Tonga High doing a good job there. I think he might have shifted out to the centres. And he looks like he's picked up enough there. He's Loco out of dummy half. Now the next run. That's Blake, Sut Blake Sutton. Yeah, lucky duck there. He uh, ducked underneath there. Otherwise, he would have lost his head. So, but um, Picton have done well here on uh, Figure Teaser. They've marked on uh, him up uh, quite well today. Eddie Payer with a long wide ball. He got hit late by, uh, I think it was Alex Peters. The ball's gone forward. Uh, we've got time off here. We'll be interested to listen in for MacArthur Insulation. I think it'll be the hit on Payer. It was late, Alex Peters. It wasn't high, but it was uh, marginally late. And the Picton fans not happy with the uh, with the uh, decision going against their side. You can always tell the ones that uh, don't play first grade, don't you? We're listening on this discussion. In fact, there are some technical issues, so we're not able to listen in, unfortunately. It's going to be a penalty to Phil Mir. You can, the, uh, you can see the apology coming from Alex Peters. Our home fans not happy with the decisions going their way. Eddie Payer back to his feet, gets another gold logie. And straight back to his feet. Made sure his side got the penalty. Drives it downfield. That's a great kick. Finds the line 31 metres out from the Picton line. They're up 16 for the yeah, some, of these, some of these people in the, mic, uh, in the crowd, right, they just need to learn, to learn some new stuff. Yes. Um, so repetitive, just hearing the same stuff week in, week out. 22 At least when out. I tell a joke, it's not the same one every week. Big are inside the quarter now. Saleh out of dummy half, goes left-hand side. Mullaney finds Payer. 
out the back. Sutton oh, no coming through. Can't find a way through this defensive line this time. Seven play it play eight metres out from the line on the eastern side of the ground. Comes out of dummy half. There's a good run. Only three or four metres, but putting the pressure on the Brixton defence. Yeah, that looked like uh, Tomahoy. Saleh out of dummy half goes himself. They read that like the front no, of the paper tomorrow. Two metres out on the last. Comes back. Payer, the little double do you into the in goal. Mullaney got checked in running. Can Michael let force his way out? No, he can't. Yeah, foot on the touch line here. Uh, in goal. Will he be ball on? It'll be a line drop out for the Roosters to receive. And there we see uh, Billy Carroll um, about to come back on for the Picton Magpies along with uh, Zach McGuinness. Nice. Oh, one drop out now, taken. 27 minutes to go in the major semi final. Is there an upset of sorts? Payer gives it off to second best Ledbrook. They line him up. The fans want him buried six foot under. Pick it up. Make it easy on the stand. out from the line. To the right hand side they come. Loco up the middle. That's a better run from Jacob Loco to the corner. Makes 12 or 13 metres. Good run there from the centre three quarter to the left hand side. There's a good run from Tonga High. He get it out the back. No, he can't. There's two and three there to wrap him up eventually. He stopped 13 metres out. 15 in on the eastern side. Back to the right, the right hand side they come. Mullaney for Sutton coming through the line from the back. Wrestled to ground. Peters back slams him with one other. Referee says it was all right. He's slow to his feet as well, Sutton. And time off the court with 26.05 remaining. Sutton slow to his feet. The crowd advising him what they uh, think of his uh, theatrics. Not sure the assistant coach on the uh, bench was too thrilled for the Magpies, or for the Roosters rather. No, that actually looked like a, um, a dangerous tackle. That from, actually looked like it might have been something. Yeah, from, from Peters. Um, I'm sure that uh, the match review committee will have a look at that later. Yes, they certainly will. Back underway, 26 and change remaining in this one. Mullaney, Mullaney nearly through the line, 15 metres out just to the left of centre field. On the last, he's slow to his feet. Time off again, 25-52 in this one. So, heard one witty remark from somebody in the outer. Well, that's probably the, the only one I've heard today that was moderately, uh, moderately decent. Yeah, I'll just uh, remind everyone of the... Um... That's a bit better. Am I back on? Yep, yep. Yeah, we okay. went off, but just oh. uh, tidying up. I'll just remind everyone of the score. Um, the Filmy Roosters 16 picked the Magpies 4. And we've got 25-52 remaining in the major semi-final. Yeah, and the Bulldogs 6, Dragons nil for uh, MacArthur Insulation. So there's the scores around the grounds in the NRL. Canola getting the job done over Newcastle up in the Hunter, meaning the, sh the Knights will finish last regardless of the result of the Tigers match tonight. As we see the ball taken dead by... Uh, not sure what uh, Young Sutton is trying to do there. He's trying to take out the goalpost. There's only going to be one winner in all of that. And it's and never uh, the player. It'll be the goalpost. Yeah. Alex Peters, Peters to the 40. He's been picked as the best by a long way today. Absolutely. 31 metres out. An attack and defence. Blackshaw cops one from Tonga High under the rib cage. That was a beauty. And he gets the penalty. The home fans appreciate that one. The home fans happy with that uh, call going their way. Yeah, Coach Bullock has come off. Uh, First game back for a number of weeks. And Robbie Payne's uh, off as well. A couple of veterans off for the Magpies. And we see uh, Jay Bunnell, uh fresh, uh, ready to go on for uh, film here. He's and, on him. Uh, about to go on in Jersey 14. Yeah, and young quarter in um, the Picton still hasn't gone on. No, they've saved him. Looks like Ryan Leet about to go back on in 13. As the crowd hoots and hollers for a call. Referee gives a delayed penalty. 
And it came off yet again, 24 and a half minutes remaining. Yeah, well, the good thing about that was he tried private eye. He got straight up after that. Uh, after that, he, he didn't want a uh, he didn't want a gold logie. Oh, that's good to see. Sit into the two captains. I think referee Navin using big words there, shenanigans. Yeah, he's um I wow. think he's had enough, to yeah. be honest. I think he found a thesaurus on the weekend, or maybe a dictionary, as we get back underway from the uh, second I suppose, tackle. I suppose when you're a detective, um, you've got to look yes, these, you've detective look sergeant, detective, ta detective sergeant Polydent needs big words in his book. He's not Polydent anymore, he's got oh. them uh, firmly... Uh, That's what he tells you and me. Uh, they're firmly uh, drilled in there. That's what he tells us anyway. That's going to stick for a while, I think. New young Porter getting Dean Gate. on Dean the Gate sideline. Puts a grubber through sudden, does brilliantly to clean that up. It'll be a line drop out for the Magpies. Line drop out from under the posts. Still Luke Bennell, or in fact, Jay Bennell, waiting on the touchline, pacing around anxiously. It's still 16-4, the Roosters. Yes, we've got 23-40 remaining in the major semi-final. And at the moment, it'll be Thulmy through to the grand final. Picton and Campbelltown City next Sunday afternoon in the preliminary final. That could be an interesting little matchup. Yeah, it could be. Um, Picton would not uh, need to play a lot better than what they have done today. Well, they've been not at their best this afternoon. As we see uh, the replacement there. And the 14 taking forward for... Picton, 30 metres out from the line. Goes to the right-hand side. There's Peters taking it forward. I'm guessing that, you know, that was a quarter in the 14, so somebody's had a jumper change there. To the left-hand side now. As we uh, get the... 14 for the uh, man calls is Zach McGuinness. Zach McGuinness is the jumper change. Yeah, Play on the call. So McGuinness and Robbie Payne uh, swap jerseys, Payne in the team. Yeah, and Payne in the team. Yeah, that just had a message come through asking for the score in the early game. Campbelltown City 24, Camden 18. The reigning premiers are gone for 2017. Uh, that got looked, a penalty uh, there for me. Yeah, that uh, looked a little dangerous too there from uh, Big Billy Carroll. Home fans not happy with that call. Line, so a few of the home fans, you can probably hear that through our effects. It's not going to find touch. It doesn't find the line. Alex Gannon, 25 metres out. The home fans are happy with that. Can't break through the line of filming defence. Five short of halfway. Michael Benny from dummy half. There's four of them there to stop him. Ryan Leake goes on for the main prize in 13. Still the one fresh reserve in Porter. He hasn't gone on this afternoon. It's uh, Peters playing at 35 out. Provost out of dummy half trying to win a penalty. Going for the Chinese dairy farmer approach. Not working for him. 27 metres from the line. He'll play it now. McInnes in 14. Dummy half. Hoskins for Dengate. Dengate wide on the right hand side. Good ball for Orcher. Orcher puts a little grubber kick through into the back line. But that'll find the touch line before everybody gets there. So it'll be a filmy scrum feed 10 metres out from their own line at the northern end. 20 in from touch. On the eastern side of the ground, we're down to 21 minutes and 10 seconds remaining for this semi-final. So the Magpies trail by 12 here. And the Kangaroos winning by six in the early game. The reigning premiers are out. They turn up for the books there. I think Camden only have one team left. Off the top of my head, they've only got one side in in the reserve grade. So there'll be new premiers in a number of grades this year. With the uh, first grade certainly and also the tag. Seeing new premiers this year. Yeah, just got a uh, text message from uh, Coach Fulton for the Kansas City Kangaroos as well. Yeah. 
Uh, just wanted to know how he could listen to uh, us dribble, dribble and dribble and dribble. Uh, and provide so a little bit of information on, yeah, on the was, side. Yeah, so I uh, told him where he could listen. Which, of uh, course, is via Grip6 League Live on Facebook or MacArthurSportsRadio.com and click on the Listen Live link in the uh, commentary tab. Yeah, so uh, we'll try and get um, an interview with uh, Liam before the match next week. Yes, it'd be good to catch up with Liam Fulton before the preliminary final. I think that was a Falcon play on six more tackles. Sutton takes the tackle. Five metres, in fact, eight metres out from the line. If the Roosters score here, it's all over for Picton. I think she's just about curtains if they score here, the Roosters. Mullaney at dummy half. Only four metres out from the line. Goes left side. Payer, Payer. Won't get through there. Good tackle from Ryan Leet. Did enough to slow him down. Two metres out under the bar at the southern end. Very slow play the ball. It's Campbell dummy half. In fact, uh, yes, uh, it's uh, Jay Bunnell for Mullaney. Mullaney, a flat ball there for Tonga High. Couldn't get through the line. Eight metres out. Back to the right. Mullaney, where's he going to go? Fins off one, pops it out the back. That's off Picton hands. That's gone back. Sutton has it. 15, 15 17 metres out from the line on the last. Porter has an interchange card in his hand for, the, for Picton. Payer kicks over the top, not the best looking kick. Yeah, play down for uh, Midigon. Midigon, well done. Yeah, so. Picton as well. Time off, 18.55 remaining. Play down for, Pict for Midigon, that's a new one. Yeah, I just know the uh, boys uh, are still listening down in uh, Midigon. Uh, still uh, partying on from uh, last night. As we wait for this uh, stoppage in play. He's got the ground. Six all, 15 gone at Homebush. Dogs and Dragons, big game for the Saints. Yeah, no one really cares, Mike. <laughs> well, not up in our commentary box, they don't. No, my team's uh, my team already won, so... Um, yeah, mine's on later tonight, yeah, 6.30. So the, uh, the Sharks got up over the night, um, only just, but... Um, it's You've a only win. got to just get home. Yeah, win's a win. That's um, right. And go, we'll go into the semi-finals with a, with a win. So. As I learnt many years ago, the scoreboard doesn't show how, it just shows how many. That's exactly right. So the Tigers tonight against the Warriors at Leichhardt. That one at 6.30. Yeah, you've only got to win by one. That's right. And read about it tomorrow. Now we're just about right. That little break in play. 18.55 to go. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Uh, that actually looks like Alex Peters. And uh, doesn't look good. Looks like a... Maybe a, I suspect a collarbone or an arm injury there. That's not good. Yeah, good call, Dr. Mike. Yes, thank you. James Porter about to go on for the first time today. You can hear the cries in the background. He'll go on now. So there's the whistle to get us back underway. Final 19 minutes of this game. This afternoon. Yeah, it looks like a wrist. Could be a wrist injury for Alex Peters. That's a blow for the Magpies. McIlvenny, 33 metres out from his own line. I'll tell you what, I hope it's not his drinking hand. I'm pretty sure he's a right-hander, so I think he'd be safe there. Mm -hmm. As we see, a good run there from the 14 in McInnes. 11 short of halfway, 10 in western side. Shadows lengthening here at Victoria Park. There's Porter, the fresh man, on in 16. Good run from him to halfway. 18 in from touch on this broadcast side. Back to the short side. Hoskins drives the rubber kick downfield. Sutton takes it. 20 out from his own line. As he wheels around to that left-hand side of the ground. Gets the ball away. Smith, four short of halfway. He'll play it now. There's a good run upfield. That's uh, Tonga High. I think, no, that's Loco. And penalty goes to Phil Mew. You heard the explanation there. Holding the legs while he still played the ball. You're not, uh, not rocket science, is it? No, not very difficult when you do that. They're going to take the shot at goal. They're going to take the two points here. Yeah, well, this will put him in front by 14. So, uh, not Beyond a two converted tries. Bit, uh, not a bad option from um, Phil Mew Roosters. But, um, and a bit of a surprise, though. Yeah, a bit of a surprise, but um, put him in front by 14. And a very good goal, uh, goal kicker, too, in um, Eddie Payer. Yes. He's got two from three this afternoon. Yeah, a lot of uh, NRL experience. 
Um, yes, a very handy player to have on your side. Yeah, so I'll throw the extra 150 kilo on his back here from uh, 40 metres out. Well, I'll put another 80 plus on him uh, as well. A lot of concern for uh, Alex Peters on the uh, pick and bench as well. Yes, that doesn't look good. We keep an eye on that. I'll follow his kick 40 metres out. Right on the red line, 15 in from touch. So with the angle, probably around the 45, 46 metre mark. And 16 and a half minutes left in the major semi-final. Yeah, I can tell you it's, uh, it's his shoulder with Alex Peters. Shoulder, is it? Okay. Yeah, he's popped it out. <coughs> Dislocated shoulder. on its way, flags up, great kick Eddie Payer, great kick Eddie Payer, that was a great job there to add the extras, 16 minutes remaining, Eddie Payer adds the two from wide out, so it's now, it's now 18-4, my apologies, 18-4 the scoreline with 16 minutes to go in the uh, preliminary in the major semi-final for this afternoon. And they're heading to the bunker at Homebush. And that looked like there was a player offside there. That'll find the line 30 metres out. Yeah, good kick there. Uh, one of the uh, Felby players pointing at the uh, 30 metre line. I think he's got his lines mixed up. Um, it was short of the 30 metre line, but the ball's only got to go 10. Yeah, certainly up over the 10 metre mark and into touch. So I picked and get the scrum feed. That's why they uh, paint that uh, 10 metre line, line red. red. Yes. I thought it was just for decoration, but anyway. I thought it was just so you got to wash the line marker out. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's an actual, it's a pain having to paint that uh, one line in a different colour. Michael Lett puts it down, second tackle from the, uh, the second pass from the play. After the scrum win. Yeah, I think uh, I think pretty much we'll see here. Um, Filmy th shutting up. Filmy will go. They go to the left-hand side through Jacob Loco. He's been solid this afternoon. Yeah, Filmy will go straight halfway. through the grand final, I think, and um, Picton will play Kennington City next week. A Ron Kane Shield match for a spot in the grand final. How's that for a, 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 a big game? Next Sunday at Dudley Chesham Oval. Campbelltown City will be there. Picton looks like they'll be there. 18-4, they trail. 14 and a quarter to go in the major semi on Father's Day. Figatoos are up the middle. Good run from Andy. He's finally getting some momentum there. Aaron Blackshaw looking to get back on the field in a hurry. Yeah, heap of ice on uh, Alex Peters. Yes, I just noticed that. Uh, shoulder there. Little I think dab kick um, through the line. Oh, yeah. If that sits up, that'll be a try to film here. And that is a beautiful try to the Roosters. I think that was Riley Narnbred yeah, getting yeah, over. Try to uh, mind your business there. Narnbred gets over. And that's probably going to ice it for the Roosters now. 22 points to four. With a kick to come from wide on the right-hand side. Good range on the right. For John Stoneman and co-lawyers, 13 and a half minutes remaining in this major semi-final. And the Roosters certainly appear to be heading to the big one in 13 days. That is a big turn up for the books. And it will be Campbelltown City to meet Picton next Sunday in the preliminary final. Barring a miracle comeback here from the Magpies. It will be a one cane shield preliminary final between Picton and City. The neutral turf of Dudley Chesham Oval. Sunday, Saturday week. It'll be the grand final. Filmy will be there. It will be the hometown Rouge or the Magpies. Couldn't want to stay. Yeah, can't, pick, uh, can't pick a winner there, but. Uh, yeah, that'll be a tight one. Yeah, I think if Alex Peters on the play, picked him, uh, will be in a lot of trouble. He yes. He has been their best player by a country mile here Absolutely. Today. Absolutely, he's been excellent today for the Magpies. Conversion attempt from Eddie Payer now to make it a 20-point margin. Oh, yes. 
lovely kick from Eddie Payer there. 24 to 4 if you don't mind. And we've got 12 minutes left in the major semi-final and it's been a major boil over. Fill me, not so much the result, but the margin out by 20 points over the, the reigning uh, minor premiers in Picton. The Magpies will have to do it the long way around in 2017. They'll have to go via. Yeah, Phil, you make the mistake there from uh, the kickoff and the ball goes out. Um, it could be an interesting grand final. We could have uh, Phil versus Campbelltown City. Well, um, that could be an interesting yeah, matchup. Yeah, both, both grand finals from last year uh, could be out in uh, Camden and Picton, but uh, never right the Magpies off. No, that well, you do that they've at always, your own peril, don't yeah, you? Yeah, they've always been there or thereabouts. Yes, well, they're thereabouts once again. The minor premiers of 2017, three games clear at the top of the table. We'll be playing in the preliminary final. Time off, 11.02 left in this one. So straight back away, we get underway. As we see the Roosters having to defend here. 10 metres out. And penalty goes to Picton, not rolling away. In the tackle. Count now 10 6 from MacArthur Insulation. The Magpies fighting through Porter. Held up on the first. So we'll be back to the 10 for a play the ball. Still not quite on the mark, James Porter. And as we see Ryan Leach take it forward, he'll have to step up next week. Peters is out with a dislocated shoulder or any sort of shoulder injury. Provost for Dengate. Dengate for Lett. Lett out wide on the right-hand side trying to find a gap in the filmy defence, but I don't think he'll get through there. He won't. Pulled down a metre out from the line. Only five in from touch on the eastern side of the ground. Plays it now. Back to the open side left. Through the hands. There's Blackshaw. Good run from him. 12 metres out from the line. Provost at dummy half. To the left-hand side. Dingate, Hoskins, Carroll, McIlvenny. Knocked down by Picton. By Thilney. Six more tackles. Carroll stopped nine metres out from the line. On the zero tackle. And play it now. There's Hoskins at first receiver. Now Dingate should ball Porter. Porter not getting through the line. Stop 10 metres out from the line in centre field. Yeah, the uh, crowd starting to uh, disperse here today. I think they know the results uh, on ice. Yeah, it's not going their way. Picked them down by 20. 24-4. Phil Mir over uh, Picton. 9.20 to go. Bruce Lowe play the ball from Tim Dengate here. Yeah, just talking about uh, Timmy Dengate. He's been uh, extremely quiet today. Um, not his normal game. Here's a good run from uh, McGuinness for the Magpies. Does he get there? No, he's half a metre out. Plays it now. Left-hand side, they, in fact, they don't. They go out of dummy half. Tackle made. Two metres out from the line. Provost plays it. Hoskin first receiver. Little dab kick played at. Filmy come up with that play on the, the call. Look at this Sutton doing the work, falling on it. 15 out yeah, from no, his own was, line. Uh, young, the younger of the uh, Cuban Hills. Uh, okay, that was Luke. 18 metres out now, Filmy. Quite. And to Loco. Loco popping it around the corner. That was a good ball. To the biggest winger in the world. Jordy yeah. Reed. Jordy Reed. 32 metres out from the line. They go to the left-hand side. Good run there from Riley Narnberg. And Narn plays at eight short of halfway. Yeah, Shannon Thorne getting ready, uh, ready to come back on for the Magpies as well. I think it's a bit late for that as we see Mullaney to halfway and over by a metre. Plays it now. Payer kicks downfield just looking for the sideline. And doesn't, does find it. Oh, I thought that went over the... Uh, over the corner post, but the, the touch judge says it is just inside the field of play. A bit hard to tell with the um, corner post line on the ground. Yes, so. at 90 degrees, a bit difficult. And the crowd up there, um, they sort of knew uh, where that ball went, and they were saying that it went touch and goal. So. From here, it looked like it just went over the, uh, the dead ball line first, or the touch and goal first. But 
the uh, touch judge put his flag in the air. Seven and a half minutes to go. Looks like an injury to Josh Reynolds for the uh, Bulldogs in his final game in the blue and white. Rooster's starting to well, breathe a little easier here at film at uh, Victoria Park this afternoon. On the scrum wing to the Magpies. Inside their own quarter. It was a big uh, there from any player finding plenty of space. Anthony Provost getting through the line, fitting you know, 25 metres out from his own line. Plays it now. Dengate first receiver gets cut down. Great low tackle around the legs. It was Jordan Tonga High. In fact, no, that was Kite. Hoskins kicks downfield. Finds his opposite number six in Blake Sutton playing at fullback. 23 metres out from the line, slips over. Still has time to regain his feet and make 12 metres. He's 13 short of halfway. Told him to go back a couple of metres. Six and a half minutes remaining. As the Roosters turn short of halfway. Yeah, not good news for uh, Pick the Magpies. Timmy Dengate uh, limping off here. He will be uh, replaced by Shannon Thorne. That's a couple of big blows if they lose Peters and Dengate in the second last game or what could be the second last game of the season the eager twos are three metres inside picked in territory he had a quiet game by his own standards he's Luke Bennell ten metres inside picked in territory on the last kick now from Payer kicks over the top not a bad looking kick just over the top of Alex Cannon he has to play at it he's under all sorts of pressure He's going to be forced in the field of play only a metre out from his own line. Good defence there from the Roosters. Five and a half to go. 24 to four. This one's over, folks. Film is heading to the grand final in 13 days next Sunday. Picton and Campbelltown City in the minor, in the preliminary final. I can see, uh, uh, is that Tonga High down there getting some ice on a knee? He's got a week to relax and rest up. As he goes to Picton. Yeah, they'll be uh, celebrating in uh, Filmy tonight. They certainly will. As long as they don't celebrate like uh, the New Gong Lions did last night into um, into uh, midday today. As we see the kick find the line, 31 metres out. Lex takes the tap, gives it off. That looks like uh, Thorne taking it forward. The Magpies, nine short of halfway. Looked like he lost it in the play of the ball. He did. That was uh, Zach McGuinness, in fact. So McGuinness with the error. Nine, nine inside. Picked in territory. It'll be a scrum feed to Thilmy. 20 metres out. The Dogs are in. It's 10-6. Canterbury leads St. George Illawarra 15 to half time. Yeah, no one cares about that game. Um, as we know, it's 24-4. Uh, Fill me roosters over the Picton Magpies. Well, it certainly is. And the Cronulla Sharks, they beat uh, Newcastle. No one cares about Dragons Anyone and Bulldogs. No one cares about Dragons and Bulldogs. Jake Mullaney to feed the scrum now for the Roosters. The player kicks on the first over the top. Not a bad looking kick. Can the bounce set up for Thilmy? No, it can't. It'll be taken back into the field of play by Eric Everett. Fins off one with a great don't argue. Gets the ball away. Has support on the inside in the form of Orchard. That was a great piece of play from both sides. Filmy kicking on the first. Picked him replying in kind. Mm -hmm. Making 40 metres. Good exciting footy there. And uh, Filmy practising for uh, the grand final. McIlvenny. 40 metres out from his own line. Beats one. Beats two. Still going up the middle. Josh McIlvenny to the 30, inside, gets the ball away, Michael Lett does hold on to it, did well to grab that, 15 metres, 12 metres out from his own line, McIlvenny still on his, on his belly, that'll be a penalty, and 10 in the bin, Fiega Tuza has 10 in the bin. Yeah, three, three minutes to go. So yeah. he'll have an early shower. Fiega Tuza uh, in the bin. Penalty count is 12-6 on my sheet for castle insulation. Yeah, three minutes to go. So Thurman will play these last three minutes with our uh, 12 players. Figure twos are in the single. They were warned. They were, war uh, were warned. Easy for you to say. Yeah, earlier in this game a few times about infringements inside the 10 metres. Carroll, flat ball, McGuinness. McGuinness for the line. He's 
got it down. That'll be a try to Zach McGuinness. He's done enough to get it over the line. Two and a half minutes remaining. It's 24-8 for John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers. Good piece of play there from the, uh, the forward for Picton to make it 24 points to eight with only a couple of minutes remaining. And by the time we have the conversion attempt, I think Anthony promised in a great hurry to uh, take this kick. So the two minute warning sounds in the background. Two minutes to go. Side in a real hurry to all the anything in the final stages of this game. 24 8 the scoreline, with two to go. Uh, we've got to give a congratulations to um, the coaches of the film year outfit, too. Yes, done an excellent job. Uh, Coach Sutton, pretty happy down there on the sideline, and um, Jake Mullaney, good job, boys. Yeah, he's done a very good job there through to the grand final. Provost. He had the extras, absolutely he can. That was a beautiful kick from Anthony Provost to make it 24-10 with 70 seconds remaining in this major semi-final. You can feel the air taken out of this crowd here at Victoria Park this afternoon. As the final seconds of this match play out. Score now 24 10 in favour of Thelmere with only a matter of 40 seconds to go. Another try to Canterbury, it's 14 6 and six minutes to half time. Payer restarts play, only 30 seconds to go here. Sends it high and shallow, no one bouncing, taken by the Magpies. Porter, second run of the day. 18 metres out from his own line. Final stages of this game. So, Carroll taking it forward. 13 seconds and counting. So Porter once again trying to break through the line. Inside the final 10 seconds of play. Filmy will celebrate a grand final berth. There's the siren in the background. Full time. Ball away. Carroll puts it down. And that about sums up the afternoon full time. Will me have defeated Picton 24 points to 10 to seal their spot in the 2017 Group 6 Rugby League Grand Final. They will contest the Norman L Day Cup in 13 days' time. We'll take a breather here on MacArthur Sports Radio. And when we come back, we'll wrap up what's been a massive day of Rugby League here at Victoria Park. Picton. Uh, through to the preliminary final, Thilmy heading to the big one. Stay with us.